Hello everybody! In this video I will show you how to connect to iPhone or iPad with iOS 10 operating system and load music and video files. We will see how to connect to a phone or tablet PC with a USB cable or Wi-Fi and what player to use to play music and video files. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. Apple official website says that any iPhone model supports such audio formats as AAC from 8 to 320 kilobytes per second, protected AAC files from iTunes Store, HEAAC, MP3 from 8 to 320 kilobytes per second, MP3 VBR, Dolby Digital, AC3, Dolby Digital Plus, EAC3, Audible Formats 234, Audible Enhanced Audio, AAX and AAX Plus, Apple Lossless, AIFF, and Wave iPhone can play video only in the following formats – MP4, MOV, M4V. And they will be played only if they were created with the compression standards MJPEG, MPEG4 or H264. It applies to pre-installed uh, or official software. If you need to play a different audio format, you can install a third-party application on your iPhone. By default, there is no music or video in an iPhone. You can download music or videos to your device with iTunes or buy them in iTunes Store. For starters, install iTunes on your PC. The application is free, so go to the official website and download it. Find the link in the description. Connect iPhone, iPad or iPod to the computer with a USB cable. Then select the mobile device in the iTunes window on your computer. Go to the menu File, Add File, Folder to Library. Select the file or folder and add it to iTunes. Go to Music or Movies section, depending on what files you are downloading. And check the box Sync. Select Artists, Genres or Playlist, which you would like to download to your iPhone, iPad or iPod. Click Apply and wait until the files are downloaded to your device. Ready? You have loaded music or films from a computer to iPhone, iPad or iPod. Right after sync is over, they will be available for listening in music app or for watching in video app. Remember that synchronization will delete all video and audio files if they were loaded in another PC. There is a good alternative to iTunes, which allows to load contents from a computer to iPhone very quickly and without syncing. It's iTools. It doesn't have the functions of iTunes in organizing a musical video collection, but not so many users need it. In order to load music or films to iPhone with iTools, connect the device to the computer with a USB cable and start iTools. Go to the menu Music or Video and click on Import. Select the folder or file you need and click OK. Ready? Selected files have been loaded into the memory of your device. They will be available for listening in music app and for watching in video app. I showed it with the example of a music file, but importing video is the same. The only thing to change is that you will use video menu. The advantage of loading music with iTools is that the content is loaded without synchronization, which saves a lot of time and files can be loaded from any computer. The content you loaded is available in standard apps, music and video, as well as in the case with syncing iPhone with iTunes. You can transfer files between iPad, iPhone and a computer with a USB cable and with a Wi-Fi connection, though only few people know it. This method will be useful if you are not at home and you don't have a computer with the necessary software and a USB cable. You will need to download and install a free application Air Transfer from App Store. After starting the program, a user can both download files from iOS devices to the computer or load music or video from a PC to an iPhone or iPad. To download files from a phone to the computer, add files to the application. To do it, click on the plus icon in the menu below 
Select Category and Files. After that, they will become available in the application. To save shared files to the computer, click on the Wi-Fi icon in the application. One important thing – your device and the computer should be in one network that is connected to one router through Wi-Fi or a network cable. In this menu, you will see the network name and URL. Enter the URL given by the application into the browser of your computer and you will get to the web interface of the application. There you can find all files shared in, in the application on your device. To download them to the computer, check the box next to the necessary file and click Download. The file will be downloaded as a zip archive. To load files from a PC to a phone with air transfer, drag the necessary file from the computer into the Load Files window of the application web interface. When you open Air Transfer on iPhone or iPad, you will find the files there and will be able to use them. Air Transfer is not the only app that can do it. There are others as well. By the way, many third-party audio or video players also support connecting a device to the computer via Wi-Fi or FTP. They are based on the similar principle. Having loaded music to iPhone, you can play it with the standard music application. It is a default audio player integrated into every iPhone. It's very easy to use as you can see everything – playlists, artists, songs, albums, etc. You can work with music in different ways – play songs or albums one after another, or create your own playlist, play songs by certain artists only, or in certain genres only. You can also manage music application in the multitasking panel. If you want, you can install alternatives to the standard audio player from App Store. You can choose a player to your taste. Among free products, I'd like to point out some names. Vox – the Mac version of this player was a super hit once. Users with accounts in SoundCloud and Last.fm can connect Vox to its cloud collection of music. It also supports such formats as FLAC, APE, WMA and CUE. Listen – a player which you can control without looking at the screen. It is very convenient to switch from song to song when driving or exercising. It's a good choice for drivers and sports people. And don't forget about online music services – first of all Apple Music, Yandex Music, Google Play Music, Deezer, Spotify, etc. To play video, iPhone also has a standard application – Video. It is a default video player integrated into every iPhone. Users are often critical about it. However, it is good enough to play films bought at iTunes Store or other videos in standard formats. If you want, you can install alternatives to the standard video player from App Store. You can choose a player to your taste. And I would like to point out the following. AV Player ranks among the 20 most popular apps of all times from App Store. It can play video in a huge number of formats, including those unknown to iTunes. AV Player is versatile, dealing with videos in 720p and 1080p. However, it is not free. You can download AV Player for iPhone or iPad. Find the links in the description. VLC is the most popular free video player. Many users know it from its desktop version. As well as most video players, VLC continues playing files from the moment where it was closed. Traditionally, it supports all necessary formats. VLC can play streaming video and download it from web servers, Wi-Fi, Dropbox, Mega and even Yandex Disk. You can download VLC for iPhone and iPad for free. Find the link in the description. I would like to remind you that this video deals with loading and playing music and films in standard formats supported by Apple devices. You may face difficulties when loading and playing files in non-standard formats. I will tell more about overcoming these problems in my next video. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching and good luck!